Another way to add in textures is just to use textures from your hard drive. Here I have a folder full of concrete textures, and I can just grab those textures from outside of iClone 4 and drag and drop them on the props, and that prop will now automatically have the texture that I just dragged in. I can also use these outside textures to drag and drop and create props of those textures. Let me show you how. For example, I have this Con 14 or Concrete 14. If I press Control and then drag and drop it into my scene, notice that the texture is created but also a wall was created. So I'm just going to rotate around that so you can see that a wall of that texture was created. So you can imagine just adding in these textures to create walls and quickly building up a scene for your projects. You can also drag and drop in videos as textures or as props. It's the same concept as other textures, just with videos. Since there are multiple channels for your textures, you can add in video textures to anything to have a very good blending effect of video textures working together. But you can also use the Pop Video Converter to take a live action video of your actor you filmed with green screen footage, then bring that actor into your 3D world by simply dragging and dropping that character into the scene. That is how this video was created. Immersing your real human actors into any 3D environments has never been easier. Notice this video. Looks as if my car is racing down a street. Imagine all the computations required for the lighting, texturing, and all that 3D space for all those buildings being used. But am I really doing that? If I rotate my camera around, you will see the only thing in this project is my car. And the background is a video racing through the streets of New York City. So therefore this project is quite small, only a 3D car. So just imagine what you can accomplish by bringing in your external resources and drag and drop into your scene.